at the at the Com West Coast Computer Fair in 1981, when we introduced the Osborne, it's in there the behind plexiglass, being admired by people, but you can't use it yet. Uh, a guy came over to me and he had a he said, uh, "Let me show you something," and he gave me an Aztec switching power supply. I said, "This can do the following," and I knew we use those, and we have a problem with heat, the problem with weight problem with size. This is our solution. He was the sales representative from Aztec at the right place at the right time. Oh, okay. And so right away, you know, there's a, the first prototypes have spaces for power regulators on them. It would make a lot of heat. Those disappeared. And of course, the board was relayed out. And it all worked adequately. And one thing Adam said was, uh, adequacy is sufficient. Nothing, everything else is irrelevant. In the early computer industry, ade <laughs> adequate was sufficient. And at the trade shows, I would get a few drinks under my belt and start proclaiming, Osborne Computer, setting new standards in adequacy. <laughs> but he was right. 